We're now going to have a look at the dorsal recesses of the metatarsophalangeal joints. So if we look at the first to start with, we can see very clearly here the articular cartilage of the distal aspect of the metatarsal on the head. And then this is the proximal phalanx. And we can move the toe joint to evaluate that joint more thoroughly. If we then move our probe across slightly, we can also then have a look at the second. Important here with these views to try and ensure that you're not oblique to the joint. So you can see here that my cortex of the proximal phalanx is consistent. I'm not oblique to it and seeing just part of it here, which means that I'm probably oblique to the joint to some extent. Ensure that you're fishtailing your probe round to see this cortex nice and clearly. Again, this black line is not fluid, this is articular cartilage, and often there will be a normal notch here on the dorsal aspect of the distal aspect of the metatarsal shaft. You can continue to have a look all the way through that joint from its most lateral to its most medial aspect, and that's important to do. And the same approach can be used for all of the metatarsophalangeal joints across this region.